Now this episode we talking bleh, This episode we finna talk Exclusive license and exclusive sync representation Exclusive deal terms Are we talking all things exclusive Because it making me nervous It's looking like I don't understand it And you can't get this money if you don't understand it Okay now that we got all the over dramatics out of the way Let's go <laughs> Yeah You talk money I can hear you I hear money What you say now? You talk money, I can hear you. You ain't got money, that's cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. bubble on deck i'm your host yeah look i don't do too much but sometimes i'll be doing the most <laughs> yeah bubble on deck i'm your host tamara bubble aka your favorite sing superstar aka the i hear money couch look i be hearing that money and look i be getting nervous when y'all don't be understanding it because i know it's gonna block your money if you're not getting a sync game look could you put your workout clothes on? Can I tell you what time it is? Put your workout clothes on. Cause we finna look, we finna do a sink workout. I'm trying to tell you, the I hear money coach finna take you to the sink gyms today. Could we work it out? Look. Anyway, right now is a little look, it's a little early. It's about to be look a little bit later. But right now it's subscribe time. Could we lo- look? Could we log on and just start doing stuff because the podcast is popping? Could we log on? And hit the five star reviews because the podcast is popping. Look, you showed up at the look, you want these gems, right? You over here at the look, you finna get a sync workout. After your workout is over, could you knock down that notification button? Could you hit that share? Look, could you hit the subscribe B button? I'm trying to tell you, I need more subscribers. Come through to the sync gym, get this free sync game, get your sync workout on so you can hear this money. Yeah. Now, now that we finished with talking about what time it is, could we talk about why this podcast was created? Because I'm trying to tell you there was four goals of mine and I was thinking about you the whole time. Yeah. Look, goal number one is to save you money in your sync business. We saving money via, via tax savings. Look, via look. Look, keep your money. I'm trying to tell you Uncle Sam want it, but tell him he can't have it. Tell him I know too much about this sink to give you all my money, Uncle Sam. I know you be taxing the people, but look, tell him it don't apply to me because I got my sink business. Yeah. Anyway, if you don't have a sink business, there's a whole look, a quick reference guide, a little quickie quickie. You, you could get a business in a couple of days. And I'm trying to tell you Uncle Sam can't take your money no more. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Not your sink money once you start your sink biz. If you go to that sink superstar academy, look, I just slid that sponsor in there real quick. Anyway, we finna talk sponsor full time, but look, there's a start your sink biz now. It, look, it ain't now. It's now. Do it right now. Ex- look, exaggerate it. Get over dramatic with it. Tell them, look, I need a sink business so I can say this money. Look, go start your sink biz now. Yeah, look, look. The Sync Superstar Academy is the podcast sponsor. The Sync Superstar Academy is this episode sponsor. The Sync Superstar Academy gonna get you to activate your superstar. I'm trying to tell you. If you visit SyncSuperstar.com, <laughs> it, look, if you do it this month, you might could save a little bit of money because I'm trying to tell you that sync, the 24 hour sync superstar activation challenge, the price going to go up after this month. Now, look, I know this a month of May, but I'm trying to tell you that price is not a maybe. It's fitting to go up. Yeah. Anyway, the 24 hour sync superstar activation challenge going to get your whole life together. It's going to get some more money coming in. So I got to tell you about the podcast and why this was created. Because look, I just only told you. I stopped at goal number one. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you there's three more goals. <laughs> yeah. Look, goal number two is to make you more money in music licensing. You're going to make some more money up in this, look, in this industry that we call sync, in this arena that we call music licensing. I'm trying to tell you the sync superstar activation challenge is it is the key you're gonna you, you're gonna learn everything i know i'm trying to tell you i'll be superstarring out here i've been sync superstarring since the beginning i'm gonna show you the way yeah anyway goal number three is to transform your mindset look this episode i feel like it's a mindset episode but it's really just kind of like a breakdown some terms that y'all be confused about 
but you be confusing your head. <laughs> so I got the call as a mindset episode. Yeah, look, if you're confusing that exclusive versus that non-exclusive, if you can flu- confusing a sync agency deal exclusivity with a licensing term exclusivity, like don't just look, don't hear that word exclusive and think it applies to everything in your life the same exact way. If I'm talking about licensing, I ain't talking about representation and y'all confusing that and you're going to lose this money. Okay. Anyway. Goal number three. Look, after, look, goal number one is to save you money. Look, goal number two is to make you some more money. Goal number three is to get your mind right so you can't lose no money. What you think goal number four is? Look, it's going to activate your superstar. I'm trying to tell you we're going to activate it. And then you're going to just be out here. Look, I'm just, look, how, how am I making all this money? Oh, my God. I hear all this money. Oh, my God. That money come find me. Look, the money going to come find you. <laughs> yeah. Look. If you know about this this activation challenge, you know you know what I be teaching out here. Look, we we pitch music and sync. I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying to tell you there's a way you can catch it. Just uh, 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 let, 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 let me get to this money. Uh, uh, give me some more money. Uh, uh, I don't deserve it all. Look, thank you, Jesus. That's what you're gonna be saying after you get your activating your superstar. Okay, look now before we get into this episode. Because I got the breaky, breaky, b- 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 breaky down this exclusive. Okay. <laughs> in a couple of scenarios, in a couple of situations, I got to tell you what it means so you know how to get to it. Anyway, um, I got to give this disclaimer first because we've been to talk. Look, we might talk a little one stop. We might talk a little legal terms. We might talk about stuff that you'll be seeing in a contract or two. Look, when these licenses come rolling in, you know, licenses are done via contract. I'm trying to tell you, we're going to talk legal this episode we're gonna get your mind right though but i'm trying to tell you i'm not your look this ain't no professional business legal or tax advice look look not in this episode not in the last episode not in the next okay because there will be a next the bubble ain't going nowhere but to the top i'm trying to tell you we're gonna be here anyway (laughs) yeah look this podcast is full, full of it. Look, full of my personal opinions, also known as solutions. Yeah. Look, also known as gems. Look, however you want to call it, whatever you want to say about it, just know you ain't coming to me with no lawsuit about it. <laughs> Look, take this information and go get this money. But don't come back to me like, Bubble, you owe me something. If anything, y'all need to be cash up in me. This stuff is free. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you talk money, I hate you. Okay, now look, it's time to get the understanding. Look, I want look, I want you to come out of this episode overstanding. <laughs> I know too much. (laughs) Who need to know something? That's what I want you to come out of this episode saying. Now, we're going to talk exclusive. Yeah. Now, look, when we took an exclusive, I didn't told you. I got to, when I break it down, I got to take it outside of music. Could we we walk on outside the sink real quick? Can we step to the side of music? (laughs) Yeah, because look, if I throw an example in sync and you don't understand sync, I ain't doing nothing but confusing you even more. So could we come up out of music real quick? Yeah, little quicky quick example real quick. And then we gonna hop right back in the sync and explain it like break it down. Connect. I got to break it down and then build it back up again like a Lego, like a builder bear. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, when we talk an exclusive and a simple example outside of music yeah look the best way i can explain this stuff is the go look could we talk about dating now i know some of y'all watching has probably been married for a little while but i want to tell you before you was married in these streets you was out here dating i hope i think <laughs> yeah i don't think you did a male order bride i don't think you did a male order husband okay i think you met your hubby and y'all was out on these dates and y'all said look i think we in love let's go do this forever <laughs> yeah now let me tell you something when you was dating and it was just the two of you male or female would you look when you was dating your boo when you was dating your bae i'm trying to tell you when the two of you decided look we ain't gonna see nobody else guess what you was doing you was dating exclusively yeah look i'm trying to tell you a marriage ain't nothing but exclusive dating 
in perpetuity. Ew, look, I know them words are sounding nasty, but I'm trying to tell you them words come up in sync. <laughs> I got to throw them out here and then I got to make sense of all of this stuff. Okay, now, exclusive just means is you and one other part. Look, nope, nobody else involved. I'm trying to tell you, hey, look, if you're dating exclusively and there's somebody else involved, you're cheating. That's what they call that. Yeah, you out here thought. I'm trying to tell you, you ain't no good. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if you out here being true to your boo, look, stop cheating. Anyway, if you out here being true to your boo, you dating exclusively. Look, y'all, look, it's a commitment. Yeah. Look, when you do it in music, it's a contract. You know why? Because, look, people don't be trusting people. Look, when you dating exclusively, you could just tell them, oh, baby, I love you. I ain't going to, look, I ain't going to step out on you. I'm going to be true to you. And they be lying. Ew. I can't stand a liar. I can't stand a cheater. Look, God don't like it either. Anyway, I'm just here to tell you about sync and exclusivity. And look, in order to get it, you sign a contract. Yeah, now I'm gonna break down the two types of contracts where you're gonna see this word exclusive because they're completely unrelated. <laughs> and it's so it's easy to get things mixed up, get it confused, and be like, Well, I thought I signed the exclusive license and deal, and then it was exclusive single rep, and I don't know what it means, and I don't know what it's talking And you're gonna be cheating because you don't even understand what you signed. I got to break it down. Okay, now. Could we talk about the first time you fit in a C exclusive? Look, it's before you ever get a sync agent. It's before you ever get a license. Yeah. Look, when your song get done, I'm trying to tell you, I got a free split sheet. It's it, Look, it's a free one-stop split sheet. <laughs> yeah. Look. Well, let me tell you this before I go to the split sheet. Exclusive, right? So we talked about exclusive dating. It just means you and one other party. If it's exclusive sync representation, that's your agent. So that means that it's between your song and this one sync agency. They're the only one pitching it. They're the only one going to get you placements. Okay, so that's exclusive sync representation. <laughs> yeah. Now, when you sign this one-stop split sheet, this split sheet is it's a free template get music on tv.com if you don't got it if you don't know what i'm talking about if you can't follow along and you're not understanding it could you please go get that split sheet and then come back to this start it over go back to the beginning of the episode and start over okay now when you made your song and you signed it okay it was between you and the other owners right yeah if you don't know, that's what it is. Whoever signed that agreement is, is who those terms and those agreement deal terms um, belong to or are involved with. All the parties that signed it. All the owners of the song. All right. So now if you got this one stop split sheet. On the split sheet, it's a template. Which means, look, I keep on telling you, a template is just a starting point for you guys. Okay. It's editable. Yeah. Now, in the template. <laughs> It says, look, at there's little three paragraphs at the bottom. This, this is just a one-page agreement. It's a one little quickie quick to convert your songs to one stop so you can get out here and get these placements real easy. Now, in the template, there's a section in there that says, look, when we talk in one stop, it tells you what the one stop person, because it can be a person or persons, however you edit it, it's edit the boo. <laughs> yeah. Anybody can be the one stop or everybody could be the one stop. That one stop just is saying you can clear and approve a hundred percent of this placement and make that placement go down. Even if you can't find your co-writers. Yeah. Now the split sheet breaks down the type of license you can approve. And you can approve a non-exclusive license. Now, earlier we talked about exclusive um, sync representation. And this is the part where it get. I'm telling you, the people are confused and I got to break it down. This is the part where it gets confusing. Let me clear. Look, let me shave the, it's a little hairy. Let me get the razor. Let me get the clippers. We finna trim this understanding. Now, a non-exclusive deal is the license that you can clear 
Okay. Now your split sheet is saying that you can be the one stop if the license is non-exclusive. Now we just talked about what exclusive was, right? So an exclusive sync representation agreement is between you and one agency. They're the only one pitching the song. An exclusive license is what you're actually agreeing to allow people to use your music in. When you license a song, that's music licensing. So an exclusive license means you're giving the rights to your song to one party. So now, look, Bubble don't do nothing but keep it fair in these streets. I'm trying to tell you, Bubble, Bubble ain't trying to get no, ain't trying to yank nobody. But look, Bubble done been scammed before. Bubble don't scam the people. Bubble teaching the people. Now let me tell you something. Your split sheet is saying. You as the one stop, if you're designated the one stop, you have the right to clear any and all non-exclusive licenses. The non-exclusive license simply means that you can license your music with another party. If there's an exclusive license, you can't license your music with another party or you're going to be in breach of that license. (laughs) Yeah. So do you see why your split sheet only allows you to clear non-exclusive licenses? Because if you run out here and you one stop, right, you got the authority over everybody, right? You can approve it on behalf of all parties and you run out here and you clear an exclusive license. Can't nobody else use the song. Okay. So you locking money down, you closing money down. Do you see why this split sheet only allows you to do non-exclusive license deals? Because you look. When you license your song once, you don't want to be able to license it again. Okay, I thought so. So now, if there's a deal on the table where the license is going to be exclusive, meaning you can't make no more money, yeah, you ain't going to hear no more money if you got an exclusive license. I'm trying to tell you now, if you sign a music licensing agreement, okay, right? If you sign it and it's the terms are exclusive, and usually this happens, I'll say, for ads, For commercials, that's the only place where you're going to see exclusive license agreements. It's going to be for ads because Coca-Cola don't want Pepsi to run behind them and copy off of their commercial and get your song too. So what they will do, and this is just for ads, and it's usually just for a class. So they will make an exclusive license in the drink brand, meaning no other drinking brand, any other brand that sells drinking products, they can't license your music during the term of this license that you're allowing them to license your music. So they just look, they're just blocking the competition from copying. That's all they doing. Okay. That's the only time you're going to see an exclusive sync license. Okay. Now that's the license deal. That's just one of the deals in the agreement in the term. Okay. Once that term is over, you could run right next door to Pepsi and say, Pepsi, did you see that Coke commercial? Do you want to use this song? I let you. <laughs> yeah, you could be out here, Shady Boots. Anyway, I'm trying to tell you, when a brand licenses your music exclusively during that term, you can't license that song to anybody else in that class or depending on whatever the terms of the agreement are that you agreed to, you can't license it again. So that's going to cost some more money. It should. Okay, we, look, that's a whole nother episode. We ain't talking about negotiations this episode. We just talking exclusive, non-exclusive. Now, if you sign an exclusive license, your co-writers, if they one stop too, they can no longer pitch the record to other drink brands. So you know you're going to have to communicate, right? This is the solution. <laughs> Could you communicate with these people and let them know you done signed that song? Now, because I know artists don't like to communicate, look, we got the split sheet that says, you can be one stop when the deal is non-exclusive. Now that template is editable. So if you edit that template and you tell them they have the rights to sign deals, one stop, exclusive deals, you locking your song up and you ain't got no say over it. If they go and license your song for $2, yeah, exclusively. So now you can't make no more money but them $2 while that term is going on that agreement. Okay, now I'm trying to, I hope this is clear. I hope, look, put the questions in the comments because I feel like you confused and I'm trying to break it down as simple as I can. (laughs) Yeah. An exclusive licensing deal. Okay. When you rent, look, you're going to rent your song to these folks. Let me break it down. Let me break you down. 
You're going to rent your song to these folks that ain't going to own it. They're just going to use it in their commercial. They're just going to use it on their TV show. They're just going to use it in their movie. And they're going to give it back and let you make more money from it. Most of, if not all of these deals are going to be non-exclusive. The only time you should see an exclusive licensing deal where they are the only one that can use the song is for commercials. And it's because they don't want the other brands, the competing brands, to compete with them. So the exclusivity is going to be for a class, just for the drink brands, just for the technology brands. Look, AT&T don't want T-Mobile to use your song at the same time that they do. They just ask it for you to put some respect on their name, okay? Why they spending money with you. Now, that's the licensing deal. Now we're going to talk about the sync agency representation. That's just, look, when we talk in your one-stop split sheet, that has nothing to do with sync agencies. Your one-stop split sheet, that free template that I gave you, getmusicontv.com, that template is covering you, your co-writers, your co-publishers, your co-master owners, all of y'all being able to pitch direct to the music buyers it has nothing to do with agency representation don't change nothing on that template thinking you fixing something for your sync agent when you sign a deal with a sync agent it's a whole separate agreement <laughs> yeah look, it's a whole set of other terms this one-stop split sheet just look at the people that sign it that's the people that this deal is going to affect whenever you want to know i wonder how this is going to affect my sync agreement if the sync agency is not signing your split sheet, they ain't got nothing to do with them terms on that split sheet. I'm trying to tell you now. Okay, now, when you sign with an exclusive sync agent, that just means that your song is the is going to be pitched only by this sync agency. That, that company and nobody else. Look, if you're sending it to somebody else, you're cheating. If you're sending it to somebody else, you're in breach of contract. And that's suable. I'm trying to tell you they're going to come get their money if you out here moving your song around when you sign exclusively. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, I hope that's clear because I don't know how to make it no more crystal. I don't know how to look. I don't look, I don't know how to break it down no further. If you got questions, drop them in the comments. But I'm trying to tell you, if you're not getting this, just start it over. Look, look, hit rewind and come back again. Bubble on deck. Look, if you're broke, don't talk to me. I said if you're broke, you can't talk to me. Hey.